Greetings. I'm coming at you today from the Arizona State Trust land across from Sarah Park, right outside of Lake Havasu, Arizona. Yes, it's a little bit noisy, but we're here waiting to see the Pyro Festival tomorrow. And I've been out here using solar panels in many creative ways. We got a bunch of solar panels over there on Heidi's rig. I have a whole bunch of solar panels on my rig. Now I get asked many times, can you use a Jackery solar panel to charge a battery directly? No, you can't. But I'm gonna show you a workaround that allows you to use any solar panel to charge a battery. I'm also gonna show you how to hook up a Jackery solar panel to another solar panel in series without even using an adapter. So I have here the Jackery Solar Saga 60, 60 watt solar panel. Uh, you'll have to forgive the shade and the noise, but this is gonna give you an example of one of the things you can do with a Jackery panel. Now this is just a small one, it's only 60 watts, but it does a really great job at charging your starter battery. Let me show you how I did this. As many of you may know, the Jackery solar panels come with an Anderson power pole connector. So all I did was I got some cheap speaker wire that was thick enough gauge for the voltage, and I made my own Anderson connector, and I wired it to the Jackery solar panel. And from the speaker wire, I have it coming into this really cheap $15 Renogy PWM controller. It's called the Wanderer. I do have it on my website, hobotech.tv slash Amazon. It's really cheap, it works really well, and it does have a lithium profile if you wanna charge lithium batteries with this. Now, because I have shading on the panel, I'm only showing 13.7 volts. But it's keeping my starter battery topped up. I just wired in these alligator clips, and I have it hooked to my battery. And this is a great way to keep your starter battery topped up when you're boondocking for long periods of time. If you're boondocking for two weeks, and you have a modern vehicle, sometimes those modern vehicles have a power drain. So if you're just sitting for a couple weeks on end, you might start losing voltage in your starter battery. This is a very cool way to keep your starter battery topped up. All you need is a piece of wire that's 16 gauge or larger, some Anderson connectors, a $15 PWM controller from Renogy, and some alligator clips. And you can set this up yourself pretty much with any Jackery solar panel. Now we have here the Jackery Solar Saga 100 in series with the Suoki 100 watt solar panel. Both of these are available on my Amazon page, hobotech.tv slash Amazon. You can get the Jackery at a discount. Just look for the coupon codes there. So the Suoki 100 watt folding panel comes with an Anderson connector just like the Jackery panel. So it's a simple matter of popping the connectors apart with a screwdriver and hooking them together in this fashion. So all you have to do is take this Anderson power pull from the Suoki, pull the cover off. Now sometimes you do need a screwdriver to pop these two apart. Now you do the same thing with the Anderson power pull from the Jackery. Remove the sleeve, then pop these two apart. You need to do the same thing with your extension cable. The important thing to remember is that the power pull going to your power station needs to be positive to positive and negative to negative. So the outcome needs to be set up that way. So how do you actually connect these two together in series and do it properly? You gotta connect the positive from one panel to the negative of the other panel. And it doesn't matter which panel you do this to. As long as you connect the negative to the positive on one side, and then that leaves a positive and negative to connect to your extension cable. So then you literally hook positive to positive and negative to negative. And there you go. You now have two solar panels in series without needing any special Y adapters or actually anything at all. That's the cool thing about Anderson Power Pool. They come apart. So that allowed me to turn two 100 watt panels into one giant 200 watt panel. Now this does double the voltage. So your power station that you're charging needs to be able to support up to 40 volts in this case. Now, I've already anticipated your next question. That's going to be, can you charge at any Jackery power station with two panels in series like that? The answer is no, because Jackery power stations only support up to 30 volts. Now, you can use two solar panels in parallel if you get an Anderson Power Pole Y adapter, and that'll allow you to hook two solar panels together to charge your Jackery. However, this is only going to be helpful for the new Jackery Explorer 1000, which supports up to 200 watts of charging. I'm getting my hands on one of those and I'm gonna be reviewing it in the next few weeks, so keep an eye out for that. And if you're interested in either one of the Jackery solar panels, the Solar Saga 60 or Solar Saga 100, 
I have both of them on my Amazon page, hobotech.tv slash Amazon. You can get a certain percentage off depending on the code that you use and the panel that you buy, but the links to get them are there on that page along with the codes. I will have the links and the codes below in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Till next time, Gadget. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Harvey Gold Guy, Pat.